everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It is misting out right now. It has been raining most of the morning here and I have made it over to my cemetery so that I can do a Lakers and NBA update for you. I'm gonna try to stay as dry as possible. I'm under a nice big tree, so hopefully it'll protect me and I hope the wind noise isn't too loud, but let's get started. First, I wanna update you on the new head coach of the Lakers. When I spoke to you last, I indicated that it appeared that Ty Lu was going to be the next coach. Ty Lu was a former Cleveland Cavaliers coach with LeBron James, and it really looked like everything was moving in that direction. However, everything fell apart. When the Lakers made him their offer, he was completely insulted and offended by what they were offering. First of all, they were only offering a three-year contract at $18 million and he was wanting at a minimum a five-year contract so that he could have a little stability. He also was upset with the fact that the Lakers were attaching his contract to LeBron's contract and that just was not something that he was interested in. Although he was coming to the Lakers and excited to be working with LeBron, he absolutely did not want his contract tied to LeBron James. One of the other options was Monty Williams, but Monty Williams got tired of waiting for the Lakers to make him an offer, and he has now signed on as the new head coach for the Phoenix Suns, which took him out of the running as well. The Lakers were left with very, very few candidates to choose from at this point. However, they have made a decision. They have hired a new head coach, and his name is Frank Vogel. Here's some things about Frank Vogel for you. He got his start in the NBA as a video coordinator for the Boston Celtics from 1997 to 2001. After that, he became an assistant coach for the Boston Celtics. He is married, he has two daughters, so he is a family man. From 2012 to 2014, he led the Indiana Pacers to back-to-back finals in the Eastern Conference. He is a proven head coach with a career record of 304 wins to 291 losses with the Indiana Pacers and the Orlando Magic. Vogel has a unique coaching style. He likes to give the players a lot of flexibility. He's never been great with offensive plays, but the Lakers don't need help with that. They need help with their defensive plays. So hopefully he'll be able to bring that to the team and help them bring out a win. Obviously, we wanna see him in the playoffs next year, so we will see how things go with him. It has been really, really sad for everyone with Ty Lu not taking the deal, being so offended by the offer that was made. It's been said that the Lakers felt like they could offer him something lower because they didn't think he had any other options, and he has proven them wrong by declining their offer and declining it in a way uh, indicating that he is completely offended by what they offered him, thinking that was going to be enough. So now we do have a new head coach, Frank Vogel, for the Lakers, and Hopefully that will be a great fit, time will tell. Let's move into the NBA playoffs. We have completed the second round of the playoffs and we've headed into the final round. In the final round, we have for the Western Conference, we have the Golden State Warriors playing the Portland Trailblazers. And in the Eastern Conference, we have the Toronto Raptors playing the Milwaukee Bucks. For the Eastern Conference, they have already played and completed one game. It was won by the Milwaukee Bucks, so they are up by one. So I will keep an eye on that and see which team will be moving on to the finals. Now, for the Western Conference, which is always the one that I'm the most interested in since we are on the West Coast, we have an amazing set of games coming up. They have already played one game. The Golden State Warriors have won. However, the thing that is so interesting about this is we have the Curry brothers playing each other in this conference. We have Seth Curry playing on the Portland Trailblazers, and we have Steph Curry playing on the Golden State Warriors. It has been very interesting because of course, mom and dad are both in the stands, one wearing a jersey for Seth and one wearing a jersey for Steph. And of course, they are just so proud of their boys. What an amazing, amazing, final round of the playoffs for this family, for them to be playing each other, a guarantee that someone from their family is going to the finals. 
As far as round two was concerned, there was a little bit ex of excitement. In game five, partway through the game, Kevin Durant was injured. He had a terrible, terrible calf strain and was removed from the game. He has not been back since, and at this point, it is game by game, week by week, for them to determine if he is going to be back. With that information, it was concerning as to whether they were going to be able to win the second round. Going into game five, the Golden State Warriors had won two games and the Rockets had won two games, so they were tied. Game five was won by the Golden State Warriors, putting them up by one, but then they learned that they were going into game six without Kevin Durant, one of their key players. The Golden State Warriors were able to pull out the win in game six, but it was a fight. In the sixth game, when the Rockets really felt like they were gonna come alive and be able to take advantage because Kevin Durant was not available to play, they played their hearts out. Unfortunately, Steph Curry, for the first half of the game, did not score a single point. The Golden State Warriors were depending on Steph Curry and Klay Thompson to bring out the game that they needed and to win and score points because Kevin Durant was not available. With Steph Curry not scoring a single shot or a single point in the first half of the game, it was very, very unsettling. However, Steph Curry came back in the second half. In the third quarter, he scored 10 points. In the fourth quarter, he scored 33 points, and Klay Thompson played amazing the entire time. They did pull out a win, winning round two, moving them into round three. Coach Mike D'Antoni of the Rockets indicated at the end of the game that they were playing champions and that in order to win champions, you have to play like champions, which is why the Golden State Warriors did deserve to win round two. On the Golden State Warriors team, DeMarcus Cousins has been reevaluated and he is not going to be cleared to play for another eight weeks. So he is out as well. Kevin Durant is on a week by week review to determine when he will be in, but he has not returned to play yet. There is another game tonight. By the time you watch this, of course, that game will be over, but hopefully the Golden State Warriors will be able to pull out a win. Obviously, it's gonna be amazing to watch them play the Trailblazers and watch the Curry brothers play each other. The next game, after tonight's game, will be on Saturday, May 18th at 6 p.m. They will be playing in Portland on the Trail Blazers court and it will be airing on ESPN if you're interested in watching. This is gonna be an amazing session to watch the Curry brothers play each other and their parents in the stands watching every game, cheering for both of their boys. It'll be interesting to see which team makes it into the finals and of course which team from the Eastern Conference makes it into the finals, but it is a guarantee that one of the Curry brothers will be playing in the finals this year. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed these updates. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.